Hello, I am Max to watch Cool Stuff in Weird Cars, and in today's video we're finally going over all of my cars once again. We're just going to go through and check mileage and all of the interesting little things that have happened with my cars since the last time I made one of these videos, which was a while ago. Um, but we are going to be just checking them out and see what's going on and uh, talking about a few other things in this video, like update related things. So, let's get started. And so we'll start off with my daily, which of course is my 1994 Lexus LS400, which you saw me kind of fix in the last video I made. I fixed the trip odometer and stuff, but a new problem has surfaced uh, after that, which I'll show you real quick. So, get in here, as you can see, my little door jar light is working now, which is great. So if I put the key in, and you watch right up here, something really interesting happens. Alright, If you can actually see it, I'm not actually sure. Somewhere in there, my fuel gauge right. doesn't work. This thing has a full tank of gas, pretty much. I just filled up a couple days ago and I've driven right. roughly, let's see if I press my trip button here, driven at 79.1 miles on a full tank of gas and it says it's empty. Uh, before it was showing the wrong fuel level, uh, it was like at full up until it hit like 170 miles and then it would start going down from there, which was incorrect. Um, pull this out of the way. And it would show about half a tank whenever it was empty. So I don't know what happened there. I don't know if the fuel sending unit went out right as I did all this stuff. Or if it's something with the gauges that I touched when I was doing all of this. I don't know. Uh, but this is still disassembled, as you can tell. Haven't really gotten anything done with that yet. I still need to order the little gear that goes into here to fix this. Um, but otherwise, this car is currently at 168,647 miles. And of course, I've had no issues with engine, transmission, driveline in any way. Although, if I go out here, I'll actually take my key out of there before I forget it and lock the doors and lock the keys in it again. Even though I could probably get my keys from inside, I don't know. Um, no problem, I don't know if it's an alignment thing or what, but my tire is wearing down pretty badly here on the front left. Don't really know why, none of the other tires are like that, but I'm probably gonna have to get it replaced at some point because it's pretty worn down. And I still need to get the spare back there uh, replaced because it has a decent sized hole in it, which I found out whenever I went to Atlanta. But other than that, the car's been basically the same. Nothing really crazy about it at all. And then lock the back. Nothing else is broken, at least as far as I can remember. But I really want to start actually doing the little things that this car needs, as I, I've already started. Uh, but it needs, you know, an antenna, it needs a nice cleaning, like a really good cleaning, not just the half assed one like I usually give it. But that's my LS400. And secondly, we have my 1996 Dodge Ram 1500, extended cab, long bed, four wheel drive, five speed, so on and so forth. Uh, nothing really much has happened with this truck at all since you last saw it. There's been a thing or two. Apologize for the road sound. They just like seal coated the road, so it's all full of loose gravel and crap. Um, but you can tell it's muddy because I drove it on a little road trip last weekend and did a little bit of off roading in it. And by off roading, I mean I took it through a trail to a place and took some pictures and put them on Instagram and then drove back. Um, but yeah, one thing I did actually do though, I don't know if I actually showed this on video ever, but if you remember, I was noting that whenever I drove to New York City, oh jeez, just stop that. When I drove to New York City, my turn signals started flashing real fast for whatever reason. And it turns out that right in here, there's, oh god, I could take, I could probably take the buzz route actually. Um, but there's these two things right here, and one of these does the turn signal, and the other one does the flasher. And I basically just swapped these two like relays out, and the turn signals work perfectly now. Which is fantastic, because they were kind of annoying me before. I wonder where that is, is that that? I don't know which one does the buzzer, the buzzer is incredibly annoying so loud too and I open that up. 
But I guess we'll hop in here and start this thing up. Probably could have done that with the Lexus, but oh well. But this truck is currently at 134,456 miles. I don't want to turn the signal too far because then it'll start rolling backwards. Um, stop that freaking buzzer. But nothing has changed at all really with this truck in quite a while. I've just driven it on a couple road trips and that's pretty much it. Of course the temperature gauge does like to go up and up and up and then deck down a little bit whenever it sits in idles, even though it's not actually getting hot. Still don't know what that is. Um, would like to figure that out at some point, but it's no big deal. And of course a while ago I got the cruise control working in this truck and that's really about it. Nothing too exciting at all. I've not been driving it like daily or anything recently because I just haven't felt like it. It's got low mileage. It's got 134,000 miles. There's a bug on my leg. <sighs> Nothing else really exciting at all. I don't even have the emergency brake on. That just barely works. I need to fix that at some point. Oh, I can actually update you on one thing on this truck. So, um, I happened to notice one day that the truck was sitting up there, and I happened to notice, I walked out, and I was like, huh, there's something hanging down from underneath here. Well, uh, if I can figure out where it is, right back there, as you can tell, there's a strap. That strap is holding up the gas tank because one of the straps, like the metal straps, uh, just rusted all the way through. So, I put a ratchet strap there, and it's been holding in the gas tank just fine for the last couple of weeks that I've had it on there. Not dangerous at all. Totally not. <coughs> And then of course, I don't know if I actually mentioned on video either, uh, back here, if you open up this, my spare tire is in here because when I was trying to see if I could even take it down and see what condition it was in uh, before I went to New York City, it just completely fell off whenever I was trying to tighten it back up. Like, I barely gave it any pressure and it just fell to the ground. So, that would have not been good coming down the highway. Also. I think my rust has gotten a little bit worse on my, on my bumper. There's a bigger hole over here now. There's a this hole that goes straight through right there. And I think that actually is about it for this thing. I want to take these stupid stickers off because I, I don't like Gas Monkey Garage. And I don't really care about that crap. Um, but yeah, this truck's been reliable. It's never had any kind of issues, major issues on it, so hopefully it continues to stay like that. And we'll go ahead and shut it off. And we'll check out my last car. After I lock this door. And I guess before we go, I can just give a little startup of the LS400. So never, never had an issue starting well, except for the two times it didn't really want to start because the starter was kind of funky. But doing just fine. And then finally we have my 1989 Chrysler TC by Maserati. This has been, of course, my project car for a few years now, and uh, it's got its fair share of problems. I'm actually trying to sell it right now, so if you'd be interested in something like this, it's not perfect, but it's definitely a good start because it does run and drive and so on and so forth. Um, there's a link to a Facebook Marketplace ad in the description below where you can check it out and send me a message if you would be interested in buying it. And this car has not been started for a while. As you can tell by the uh, massive amount of spider webs over there. We're just going to send it, though. We're going to try and start it up real quick because I haven't, like I said, I haven't started in a while, so... Hopefully the battery's not too run down. Um, but I did fix one of the misfire, or one of the spark plug wires, well, kind of fixed it. I found the piece that was supposed to be on it, and I put it on there, and I'm hoping, let's see if I slowly pull this up, if it'll actually stay attached to it. I hope it will. Nope! All right. So the piece that was in there is still down in there, so you have to extract that somehow. 
Um, but it has new sparkles in it, at least. But uh, the Titan belt, as you can see here, is just kind of frying itself against the engine, which is very good, very uh, optimal way of a Titan belt working. All right, I'll we'll start it up real quick. Hopefully, hopefully it'll start. It's got lights, so it's good, somewhat promising. The ABS pump go. But basically I just wanted something that I can drive that's fun. This car I can't really drive around that much because it's kind of uh, kind of broken and it needs more work than I'm willing to put into it at the moment. So I figured I'd let somebody else just kind of deal with it. As long as somebody else actually wants to buy it. Of course, five speed manual transmission, one of 500 made of these with the 5 speed manual and the dual overhead cam 4 cylinder that's up there and ABS factory ABS in 1989 four wheel ABS too as you can see there's an ABS light over there my camera will focus on it maybe something like that and that's the pump that you're hearing right now there may be another car coming in already um, and I would still like a fun car because the car that's coming in it's not exactly a fun, particularly car. Anyways, let's start it up. Oh. I think the battery disconnected there for a second. But it fired up, and it's not misfiring right now, which is nice. There we go. This car has never failed to start for me, except for whenever the uh, the fuel pump wiring gets kind of funky. And it does this while it's cold sometimes. I don't know. I'm just tired of messing with it. I just want something I can drive. I'm not much of a uh, DIY restoration kind of person, sadly. Probably run for a minute and get the battery charged up, but there it is. Of course, it still shows 70,094 miles in the odometer because the odometer does not work. But it needs a pretty good tune up. Need a timing belt, so on and so forth. And so, as I mentioned, I'm going to be most likely getting another car here sometime soon. Uh, before I sell this thing, probably, unless somebody buys it within like a week from now. Um, but if the car that you've seen on my channel before, I'm not really going to give any way, anything too big away. Uh, you'll have to just see it whenever it gets here. Um, but it's a car you've seen on my channel before, and it's a car that I really like personally. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I don't really care what other people think. So, then this will hopefully go, and then I will hopefully be able to get some sort of other fun car to replace it with. I actually saw a 97 Mitsubishi Eclipse GST Spider on Facebook Marketplace. That's really tempting, but I need to get rid of this first, because I don't really have any space for one of those. Uh, it was at a good price too, but that was that. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, on my social media, like Instagram and stuff, you probably should, because there's a lot of information that you probably miss out on here, because I don't upload videos that often, uh, at least for now. Speaking of uploading videos, I have a really good idea, well, really questionable idea, uh, for a video series, I guess you could call it. It wouldn't be very continuous, like, you know, probably maybe once a month, if even that, for the video series. I doubt it would be once a month. Uh, but it's something that involves road tripping and just driving in general and also trying to make a cool video out of it. And I had an idea of it and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, I just need money for gas and maybe hotels. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna try and get started on that sometime soon and we'll see what goes on from there. But back to this thing. I think I'm gonna shut down because currently filling the garage with 
deadly neurotoxin. Ugh, gonna shut it down. That is not the button. But there we go, this thing actually started. Kind of surprisingly. I didn't expect it not to, but there's always a chance of something going wrong, battery being dead or something. So, here are my three cars at the moment. Um, soon to be four. Hopefully not five anytime soon. Not looking forward to that, because um, I don't really have space for that. Just gonna leave that up, I guess. But there we go, so thank you all so much for watching this video. And here's the side of that thing here. I love that car still. It needs a new seat, badly, new driver's seat. But that'll happen sometime in the future. But for now, thank you all so much for watching as I everything's dark. And I'm out of here. See ya.